Jenkins went out Friday night to celebrate a new job with her friends. Early this morning, she was found dead in a hotel freezer. Terrible, horrified, crushed, humiliated. Teresa Martin's emotions have plummeted from hope to horror in the last 36 hours. The West Sider was happy for her daughter Kanika to celebrate her new position at a nursing home as she left with friends at 11.30 Friday night. Five hours later, those friends told this mom that they couldn't find Kanika. I get a call at 4.34 in the morning from my, my daughter's friends that she left. Um, to go to one of her friends' gatherings. She'd left her truck and cell phone with her friends, and they knew something was wrong given the hour. My daughter don't stay out, out, you know, all night. Martin rushed to the Crown Plaza in Rosemont, where she says the staff was less than helpful. We begging for help, and no one yes. helped. No, they were not allowed to see surveillance video, and the hotel even called police on them for disturbing the peace. Martin and her older daughter had gone knocking door to door looking for Kanika. Well, that's all I ask God. Let me back all that. When police got there, they were able to scan security video. She was so weak. She was so drunk. Their exact words. She was his exact words. She was so drunk, so she couldn't hardly. She couldn't hold herself up. She was holding onto the wall. What cameras didn't capture was where Kanika was eventually found, dead in a freezer, in the hotel kitchen. It's something that no one could ever imagine. Martin says police told her that Kanika staggered inside, laid down, and eventually died. But the family doesn't buy it. The freezer door is heavy. I worked in the cafeteria before. There's no way if she drunk and they see if she's stumbling so she don't have no, no strength. I believe that someone in this hotel killed my child. She says at the very least, if staff had helped her sooner, perhaps Kanika would still be alive. Kanika's family doesn't know how they will live without her. My sister was my backbone. My, my kid's father passed three years ago. When I used to break down and cry, I want to give up. She was there to tell me she got my back. Rosemont police are looking into this as a death investigation. The Cook County Medical Examiner's Office reports that the cause and manner of her death are pending further studies. Yeah. It's 
listen to my tape. Check it out. I'm talking to a little bit, they check it out. Now my shoes took a night, I'm working out. 